Okay, so this is uh, just one of many ways to do the binary search. So first thing to remember before we start is uh, that the array or the list needs to be in order. So if I do sorted array equal to, and then just put my numbers in order, 5, 7, 9, 12, 20. And then what I want to do is because the binary search looks at the highest and the lowest and the middle, we need to define each one. So first of all, I'm going to put low is equal to zero, which is the first item, which in this case will be two. And the high is going to be um, the length of the sorted array. Now what that's going to do is it's actually going to count it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't account for zero. So what we're going to have to do is put a minus one in that to account for the zero. So it will give us six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is exactly what we want. Let's put the equal sign in there. Um, and also we need to do found is equal to false, which is going to be our boolean to determine whether the number is found or not. Then what we'll do is we'll enter, get a person to force an integer, input, enter a number. Okay, so what we need to do then is first of all we need to um, find the middle. To find the middle we're just going to basically go equal to add the high number or the high index plus low so in our case it's going to be uh, six and zero and then we're going to have to divide it by two now in pseudocode you can use div which means um, it won't give you any decimal um, it will just basically tell you how many times this number will go into the other number so we will use um, this in Python, which is exactly the same as div, and divide it by two. So that will take the low, add the high together, um, and then find the middle value. So in our case, if we had um, sort of 10 uh, being the low and 20 being the high, it would um, find 15. Okay, so now we've found the middle. Um, what we basically need to do now is just put if enter is equal to our sorted array which basically means we get it first time um, in this in this instance um, if it's exactly equal to the middle then we want to put found is equal to true then we're going to put elif and if our enter is greater than the middle value, so if it's greater than our sorted array middle, then what we need to do is essentially half it. So if it is greater, um, what we want to do is make low equal to the middle um, but because we've already checked the middle here, we want to make it plus one to go to the next one along. That kind of makes sense. And then the other bit um, is going to be else. And if it's the other way, so if it's um, le if enter is less than the sorted array, then we want to basically just search sort of, sort of the lower end. So we're going to half it and get rid of the high end. So we're going to say high is now equal to whatever the middle value was but because we've already checked this one it's going to be the middle minus one okay now what that's doing is that will only go through once it'll enter a number if we get it right right it'll uh, put found is equal to true um, otherwise it's just gonna do these two that's it it's not really going to do anything so what we need to do is basically put down the bottom if found is equal to true then we want it to output print value has been found okay and if it's not 
quite straightforward. We just want to print the value is not in the list. So what this is going to do is, by now it's fairly straightforward up to this point. If we get it right on the first go, great, found is equal to true, it's going to output the value has been found. But if we don't get that middle value, which in this case is probably going to be seven, um, if we don't put seven in, then it's going to half the array but do nothing else. So let's just try this for a minute. Let's uh, run the module. So please enter a number, seven, the value has been found. Great, okay, so let's try another value then. And let's try 12. So we'll run the module, let's try 12. The value is not in the list when it is in the list. And the issue is, is once it's gone around once, it only checks the first time, it then doesn't half and check again and half check again. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to move um, all of this here into uh, a while loop. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put while um, found is equal to false, and then I'm gonna indent all of this across. Um, so indent region, there we go. All right, so while found is equal to false, it's gonna keep on searching and searching and searching. Now, if it doesn't find it, it's gonna add one more bit in there. We're gonna put while well, found is equal to false and the low needs to be less than the high as well. It's a bit more error checking for you there. Um, and you can see straight away, I've made a bit of an error here. Um, I've got the if found is equal to true and else within the while loop as well. That needs to happen afterwards. So let's just put that in there. Let's just try this now. So let's try 12. There we are, it's now been found. So 12 is in our list. Great, it has been found. Let's try another one, let's try four. Let's try the other way, the value has been found. Okay, let's try something a little bit more um, out there. Let's try 89. The value is not in the list. So therefore that's actually your binary search working. One thing to be careful of here is if your middle here is not inside the while loop and it's outside the while loop, it will never be able to half itself and half itself and half itself and half itself again. So that has to be inside the while loop. So essentially that array is halving. If, uh, if we're looking for 12, it's gonna come across and say, is it um, seven? It's gray at that. Okay, so let's remove half of this. Then it would say, is it 12? Great, you've got it. Um, otherwise it would half it again and so on. I hope that makes a bit of sense for you.